Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to do a really basic proof. Now basic proofs are really important because understanding uh, proof structure is absolutely essential in order to uh, get to higher level mathematics. Let's go through this proof uh, very carefully. So proof. So the statement is, if m is an odd integer, then m plus one is even. So this is an if p, then q type statement. And so in order to give uh, what's called a direct proof, so the normal usual way of proving this is you assume that p is true. So you assume p, and then via some steps, you show that q is true. And once you've done that, you've proven it. So it's always true no matter what. It is considered an absolute truth uh, in mathematics. So let's start our proof by writing down our assumption, which is P. So you start by saying, suppose that, and then I'll just take it verbatim from the question, that M is an odd integer. Now, immediately, uh, the mind jumps to Q because you have to show Q is true. M plus one is even. However, you can't do that right away. Um, in order for the proof to work, you have to use your hypothesis. In other words, you have to use uh, the truth of P to show that Q is true. So typically what you do in these types of proofs is you just write down um, what it means. So you have something written down on the screen and you say, hey, what does that mean? What does it mean for M to be an odd integer? So this is where you have to know uh, the definitions. So there's two definitions in this problem that we'll need. The first one is for an odd integer. So we say that B is odd if you can write B as two times an integer plus one. So I'll go ahead and use uh, the variable K for our integer. So B equals two K plus one, where K is an integer. And we'll say b is even if, well, it's very similar, uh, if b is equal to 2, and I'll use a different letter this time, 2n, where n is an integer. So definitions and proofs are uh, absolutely uh, vital. Like without the definitions, uh, it often, uh, you know, you won't be able to do it. Most of the time when people get stuck in proofs is because they don't understand the structure or they don't really know uh, the definition. So I'll, if you have those two things, uh, you'll make it very far. So in this case, uh, M is an odd integer. So let's write down what that means. So this means that M is equal to, I'll use the same letter, 2K plus one, where k is an integer. So at this point, we've pretty much exhausted uh, our hypothesis. You know, we wrote down our assumption and we wrote down what it meant. And so now we have to look at q and we're trying again to show the validity of q. So the natural thing to do is to write down m plus one and try to figure out what that is. So then m plus one well, m is equal to 2k plus 1, so 2k plus 1, and then we still have a plus 1 hanging out here. And here's where the magic happens. Uh, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, right? That's, that's the key step, or not quite. Um, we can factor something out now. You can pull out a 2, so you get 2 times k plus 1. And here's where we're going to do a little cool move, which is equal to 2n. And say, what's n? Well, we made it up where n equals k plus 1 is an integer. So we showed that m plus 1 is equal to 2 times an integer. So that's exactly what it means uh, for m plus 1 to be even. So this means, or this shows, m plus 1 is even. And the proof is complete. And so I'll use a little box with, with an X. Uh, the old way of doing it is QED. The modern way of doing it to finish the proofs is a filled in box 
I use a box with, with an X. So that completes the proof. And you might be wondering, why is K plus 1 an integer? Well, if you have an integer plus an integer, you always get an integer. So it's called the closure property of, uh, of the integers. So really, really, really basic proof. Uh, but it's really important to understand every single step uh, in a problem like this. Um, it really doesn't get uh, much easier than this. Uh, but still, a worthy problem nonetheless. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who is trying to learn to write proofs.